Hi there. Now, in this video, I'm going to take you through part B here. But if you haven't seen part A, I've done it in a previous video, okay? And the answers were 7 and 18. So do check that out if you've got problems there. Anyway, before I run through part B, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video if you'd like to uh, read the question and give it a go. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So, how did you get on? Well, first of all, I just want to put an intro here, and that is the probability of incorrectly rejecting the null hypothesis then. So we'll just put here probability of incorrectly okay, rejecting the null hypothesis. So how are we going to get that result? Well, it's going to be equal to the probability of our x, which we defined as being this distribution up here, the probability of x being less than or equal to the lower critical value, which was 7, and it would be plus the probability that x is greater than or equal to the upper critical value for that distribution. And we can turn to our tables. We've got an extract here. And we can see that the probability of x being less than or equal to 7 is this value here. But when it comes to working out the probability of x being greater than or equal to 18, we've got to do 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to 17. I'll just put it down here just to show it in the working. We've got the probability of x is less than or equal to 7 plus 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to 17. And that value then is this one here, 0.9784. So if you put those values in, we've got 0.0216 up here, less than or equal to 7, plus 1 minus probability of x being less than or equal to 17, which is 0.9784. Work that out and you find you get 0.0432. Okay?